There it is. The rare three-star beaver. Looks like a whole pack of beavers. Yo, yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for checking out the episode. I'm RJ. Is that four three-star beavers? That seems kind of rare. Today we're back in Red Dead Redemption 2 to look at five forbidden locations that Rockstar does not want you to find. Now, all five are very well hidden, and a lot of them are huge. So it's kind of a wonder why Rockstar did not include them in the story mode for Red Dead Redemption 2. Either way, we will check them out today. They're not easy to get to, so I'm going to show you some tricks on how you can find them for yourself. Do me a huge favor, hit the like button, it really helps out. Also, we're going to have a live stream coming up later on tonight. We're going to be playing the original Red Dead Redemption with enhanced graphics. So if you want to join up for that playthrough, just make sure to sub, hit the notification bell, it'll let you know anytime we go live here at the channel. With that said, we're going to head to the icy north to find the number one location in the ice caves. Now this location is crazy. It almost feels like you're playing a different game. And if you don't know how to get this far, there is an easy method that involves the Devil's Cave right here. I'll put a link in the description. You basically have to walk all the way to this point in the glacier where you can find a massive ice cave. Now what you're going to want to do is stand right on the edge and then go into your inventory. Hopefully you have an Oleander Sage. Here we go. You can actually use any plant or herb. That'll make Arthur throw up. So the Oleander Sage should do the trick. It'll get us right off the side. Barely landing in the ice cave. Wow. You gotta be careful. <laughs> and then we went over the edge. But it's an extremely cool location and very big. I'll give you a quick walkthrough before we go to the next location. That also included footage from the Gator Haters channel. That cave is massive. We have to return there in an upcoming live stream. So this time we're all the way in Mexico at the gigantic natural arch. Now this was home to a hidden treasure from Red Dead Redemption 1. It's pretty hard to get back. I'll put a link if you don't know how to cross the river. But once you get here, there's a big difference. Now we can make it all the way to the top of the natural bridge. You can definitely not do this from Red Dead 1. But if you come right here, it's a little bit tricky, it might take a couple attempts, okay. but we're going to make it to the top and see if we can jump off and land it. Here we are, we made it all the way to the top. I always wanted to do this in the original Red Dead Redemption. Geronimo, or should I say, Chelonia. Face plan. Let's move on to location number three. Talk about polar opposite. We went from a Mexican desert to a snowy mountain. So here you can find a hidden avalanche. It's not too far away from Lake Isabella. You can find one other avalanche in the game. Kind of proving that Rockstar might have had an avalanche as part of chapter one. That would have been amazing, but considering Red Dead Redemption 2 is already pretty impressive, having avalanches, maybe they held that off until a future Red Dead Redemption 3. That said, all of these locations are proof that Red Dead Redemption 2 was supposed to be even bigger. Pretty awesome if you think about it. Rockstar has created one of the best games of all time, and there are secrets that they didn't want us to find. Let's move on to location number 4. Our next location is the Sissica Penitentiary. You do visit it twice during the story mode, one time on a hot air balloon, the other time to free John Marston with Sadie, but you never actually get to explore the island. There is a big reason why, if you get inside the prison, there's some clues that it goes unfinished. Maybe the prison break sequence was supposed to be much better, but if you go all the way to the back, you can find an entrance to the basement, 
and that seems far from finished. I'll show you that in a moment, but if you do want to come here yourself, you have to go into online mode, load up the legendary bounty for Cecil C. Tucker. It's the one time that I know of where you can actually boat across to make it to the Sisica Penitentiary Island. So here it is, the entrance to a basement. The fifth and final location was actually a big part of Red Dead Redemption 1. So I'm going to show you a cutscene before we visit it. The forbidden final location right here in Red Dead Redemption 2. Free fall and wait, what happened? Let's get out of here. I can give you Bill. In Dodge, Dodge is in Colombia. I can take you straight to him. Hmm? I've always loved you. Even now. You won't get me alive, John! No! So much for cover! Come on, amigo! Abigail wouldn't want this! Abigail would have killed you already. She always thought you was a creep. You're gonna be locked up for a hell of a long time. Unless they choose to hang you. Come on, easy up now. What do you mean yourself for now, John? We was family, brother. You and me. Like Cain and Abel, I guess. Leaving each other for dead. Oh! Ah, oh, you puto! Oh! One day, one day, I promise you, you're gonna regret this. One day's about all you got left. Uh, Here we are, the fifth and final location. Javier's hideout in Mexico, El Presidio. So you search everywhere for Javier, eventually finding him in this room right here. So as you saw, you have a confrontation. John, Javier, in that room, he does escape. Running outside the gate, you have to chase him down, capture Javier one last time where you bring him back through the doors. Of course, here in Red Dead Redemption 2, it is not complete, so you just kind of phase through. And then that final cell where you put Javier right here in RDR 2, it's just gravel. You do have to decide, are you gonna kill Javier or leave him to be hung? But after experiencing the storyline from Red Dead Redemption 2, it makes me wish we could have saved Javier. He wasn't so bad after all. So there you have it, the five forbidden locations hidden far outside the map here Red Dead Redemption 2. Let me know if you have any more. Do me a favor, hit the like button, especially if you enjoyed the episode. We got another big one on the way. And don't forget, we'll have a live stream later on tonight. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, and if you hit that notification bell, it'll tell you as soon as we go live. So I'll talk to you soon. I'll see you at the live stream later. Until then, adios muchachos. Stay tuned, hear trippy commentaries, and as always, make sure to stay trippy, my friends. Y'all come back now, you hear?